stick checking. Probably the most cringe-worthy phrase a defender, midfielder, or attackman could ever hear during a game. Why is it cringe-worthy? So there are so many different circumstances that happen in our sport, be it weather, be it mesh, non-mesh, in a scrum during a game, at a face-off, where a defender steps on your shooting strings, yanks your pocket, and then a timeout happens and the ref grabs your stick, you can't adjust it, it's probably gonna be illegal. So. For those of you who watch my channel regularly, you know that there's a high likelihood that I'm gonna have a stick in the vid. And you often comment below and ask me about the stick, the mesh that I use, who strings my stick. And then I went on and searched a little bit more and realized that most of you play at different levels. Youth, high school, college, sometimes pro, international. And I dug more and found out there are different specifications for stick legality at each level. And that sucks, I think it should be changed. But for now, it hasn't been. And I'm gonna use this video to tell you how you can be legal depending on which level you're in. All right, simulator, here's what happens. A ref walks out on the field, he says, hey man, give me your stick, boom. That can come because the opposing team's coach asked for it after a timeout, after a goal, after a quarter, and you have no choice, you have to give him your stick. If you adjust it after he asks that question, immediate flag. So now he's got your stick. And I also brought a few other backups for you to show different examples. And he's gonna check on three things. One, ooh, the stick measurements. Two, the pocket. And three, the withholding of the ball. Let's start with the length. For any midfielder or attackman, offensive player, although defenders are offensive players these days. Anyway, a short stick needs to be between 40 and 42 inches. So he's gonna take this, he's gonna go butt end, there. Ooh, right at a bit, 40 and some change. So this is legal. Defenders, your stick length can be between 52 and 72 inches and goalies, 40 and 72. So a goalie can use a stick that is as long as a deep hole. That would be weird. Next up, he takes the head. The dimensions of the head, he measures the length the width in college, the width here. So when you talk about the length of the head, you take the top of your measuring stick, you anchor it to the top of your head, and then the 10 inches has gotta come right where the bottom of the throat is. So that's 10 inches, barely. These stick manufacturers get it precise. Now we're gonna measure the distance from the furthest two points, the inside of the head. It has to be a minimum of six and a half inches. I'd advise you not to anchor from side to side and rather start at the inside, which is right here to here. I usually go from one and try and get to seven and a half, which I have plenty of room to spare there. Here's a key difference between a high school and the MLL spec, which is what I have here, and a college spec, is that we don't have to maintain three inches at the lowest point. In fact, this would be illegal in college, but very legal in high school and MLL. Boom. Rabel 2, college spec. So, I obviously don't use this, there's no mesh. But, if we look at the narrowest point, inside to inside, it's gotta be three inches and I'm going from two to five with room to spare. It has to be midway point, three and a half inches. So I'm gonna go from one here to four and a half, insert, ball. There are so many different pockets with different shapes and sizes. Here's what a ref's gonna do. He's gonna take a ball, Hold his stick at eye level. Drop the ball in it like this. If you see a ref doing this or doing this, there's likely nothing you can do about it, but just so you guys know, they're supposed to hold it at eye level and drop the ball in there. If your stick is legal, your bottom sidewall, or the ref's called a cross, should be an interference so they can't see the entire ball. If the pocket's pressed down and you can see the top of the ball, your stick is illegal. Pocket number two, legal. Pocket number three, legal. Now when we talk about our pocket legality, we often look at the depth. There are two other areas that actually require a measurement. The first is your shooting string location. This is college legal. I advise you young guys to adopt this. I have adopted it because I like it, but for you, if you wanna play at the college level, you might as well get used to it now. Here's how they do it. They take the measurement stick from the top of the head, and then right at four inches, the, crap. Right at four inches, there can no longer be a shooting string. So, 
four inches and above, they're allowed to mix and match. Item number two, of which requires a measurement for the referee to your stick, is now from the knot of your shooting string, the amount of fray that you have. It can't be longer than two inches, so we'll measure that. It's gotta be two, which I'm technically legal right now. Here's what a ref should do in his withholding test. They drop the ball in, and he should take the stick like this, turn it straight over, and see if the ball comes out. Sometimes they can do it multiple times if they're unsure, which is okay. Option number two is they take your stick and they rotate it over this way, by which the ball should also come out. Drop in, rotate this way. It's the final test that a ref will make to ensure the withholding of your ball is legal. They take your stick like this and they turn over like that. So if your stick turns over and the ball gets stuck here, flag Let's talk about butt ends. What makes a butt end legal? You can use any type of tape, plastic from the manufacturer, anything to establish a butt end. It just has to be covered. No metal can be exposed because that's dangerous. Metal exposed, illegal. Not exposed, very legal. Thanks for watching this lacrosse stick checking video. I hope it was helpful. Recapping everything, number one, don't shoot on a net like this. Number two, understand which level you're playing at. That is going to reflect the type of head that you can use. This is a college spec head. Number three, understand all of the measurements from length to head specs to distance and width. Number four, pocket depth. Make sure it's legal. Don't bear the stress throughout an entire game of having to pull on your shooting strings. Number five, and sometimes the most important, Understand the last two nuances that I explained. You can have a perfectly legal stick and then have an empty butt end, flag is thrown. Perfectly legal stick, long shooting strings cut off, flag's thrown. You're doing everything right and you forget about the little details. A broader lesson in life, but important to learn nonetheless. And remember, make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment your questions below. I answer them on Fridays during hashtag AskPaul.